Do you guys ever think about how much longer you're gonna live and it exhausts you? <laughs> ever look forward and the road is actually too long because you have nothing else going on? Has anyone else done that? I'm 30. I could live 50 more years and I'm not gonna have any children. So I'm gonna go see a couple of movies. That's all I have planned, that's it. Because I know I'm not gonna have children. I've already decided that. It's a very specific decision I made because I'm not gonna give this body to anybody else. <laughs> right, I'm not impressed enough with my own physique to pass it on to another human being. You know that key that just barely works in your front door? You use it, but you don't copy it. <laughs> I have one of those bodies. My body is like a $65 hotel room. It's good enough for me, but I don't recommend it to anybody else. <laughs> I'll stay here, get yourself somewhere nicer. <laughs> That's my point. I'm not gonna have kids. So, I'm gonna, so now I'm just waiting to get old. I'm ready, I'll start now, if I could do it. If I could be 65 today, I would take that. Those are the good years. There's no pressure to have children. There's no pressure to do anything. The years of your life after the age of 65 are like Friday at the office when you get back from lunch. <laughs> There's time left, but you're not gonna start anything big. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, there's still a good chunk of time, but you're just gonna see what other people are up to. That's all you're gonna do. Those are the years of my life I'm ready for. Those are the best years of your life. Old people are having more fun than anybody in my age range by far. Yes, and if you don't believe me, we will go to a casino after this. <laughs> I want you to see what I've seen. Not the people on the floor. Walk past that to the lost and found. <laughs> and see what I have seen that's changed my life. Every lost and found at every casino has a box of canes. There are canes at every casino's lost and found because there are old people in that casino having so much fun, they forget they can't walk. <laughs> How much fun are you having if you're pulling the top half of your body around with the bottom half dragging after it thinking something is different, but who cares? <laughs> it's the most fun I've ever had. They're having a great time and they're still getting laid. I know they're still getting laid. They're not talking about it, but let's wise up. How else are they breaking their hips? <laughs> it's the only way to break your hip. The hips are designed for walking. You could walk 10 miles a day for the rest of your life, and you will not break your hip. But you try and stick your leg behind your head on your 75th birthday. <laughs> that thing snaps like a chicken wing from a Chinese restaurant. Then you tell people you slipped on the ice. It's July, Grandma. I don't believe you. Just be honest. Old people are the greatest. I welcome the sight of them anywhere, except for in front of me at the bank. That's the only place I don't need them. And I don't blame them anymore. It's not their fault. They have nowhere to be. You have everywhere to be. That's the problem. From 30 to 65, you are 20 minutes late for your entire life. Every, you have one too many kids in organized sports. Your job is five minutes of a drive too far away. You are always late. And you're trying to do 20 minutes of banking with three minutes left in your lunch break. And you're mad at these people who haven't worked in 15 years for not hustling like you. <laughs> who cares? They don't. That's why I don't blame them. You have the old lady at the one teller. If old ladies wrote a book about banking, it would be called, What Does My Bank Card Look Like? Because they don't know. And they don't care. They bring a big bag of stuff, and they pull it out one thing at a time until the teller goes, Ah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the red card with the numbers on it not the wet nap. <laughs> but they don't care. And then there's the old guy. This is, these are my heroes. He's standing there. He's not like me. 
He doesn't have his bank card in one hand and his check in the other because he's got to be somewhere and he doesn't want to upset the people behind him. He's going to do it when he does it. He doesn't care. Ten minutes goes by. Hasn't started. I'm like, okay, come on. Fifteen minutes goes by. No check in his hand. No bank card in his hand. Couldn't have them. His hands are in his pockets. <laughs> Hasn't started. Twenty minutes goes by. Still nothing. And you realize why. He's not here to do any banking. <laughs> He's just been up for 12 hours, wandering through town, having conversations with strangers. <laughs> and he didn't come in here to open a checking account or make a deposit. He came in here to tell everybody what this building was before it was the bank. <laughs> and I want that. I want it, I want it, I want it now. My name is Graham Jenner. thank you so much.